Hello, good evening. Uh, Carlos Miguel, good evening. Rodrigo, good evening. Nilton, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thank you. And you? I'm good, thank you for asking. Good, good. Welcome, welcome. Let's wait a few minutes for the other ones, okay? Vamos a esperar unos segundos por los demás, okay? Maybe they join, tal vez se nos unen. Good evening, good evening. So there. Let's wait two minutes for the other ones. Hello, welcome, David Emanuel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome, mister. Good evening, um, Julio. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you, mister? I'm fine, you? Nice, I'm good, thank you for asking. Wait a second, I'm gonna send them a sticker. <laughs> so they join because it's, Late and nobody else. Oh, it's it's they are happening right now. Hello, Miss Diana. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Okay, let's start with the class. Thank you for being here on time, you guys. I really appreciate that. So let's go ahead with English for our program. This is basic module number three. My name, one more time, is Lisa Rosmel Prado Martinez. And today, as you know, it is Monday, December 5th, 2022. And we are going to continue. And this week, we are going to start with unit number three, that is communication at the workplace, okay? So we are going to talk about that. And the, the topic that we are going to study today, it would be polite requests that you can do in your workplace or in another place, okay? Vamos a, a estudiar un poco acerca de las solicitudes de manera educada que pueden hacer en su lugar de trabajo o en otros lugares, okay? And yeah de manera educada, ¿verdad? pues vamos a, a esas frases que pueden utilizar. So we are going to learn that today. And to start last class, if you remember, we were doing a little bit about the business cards, right? La clase pasada, si se recuerdan, estábamos haciendo nuestras propias tarjetas de, de negocio, de trabajo, ¿verdad? depending on what you were working, dependiendo de lo que ustedes estaban, pues de lo que trabajaban. So... Before we do that, we are going to review a little bit of the occupations. And so, and then uh, you have, at the end, we are going to show the business card. Well, you're going to describe your business card so you can do the practice. Give me one second, I just want to see something. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Yeah, I remember this one. Okay, so the game is like this. Wait a second. So the first one, I know the first one is super easy. What is she? What is her occupation, everybody? <laughs> teacher. Yeah, teacher. she is a teacher, right? But can you tell me what does she do? ¿Qué es lo que ella hace? I want you to, to explain to me in English. What does she do? Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. She's teaching math. Uh, yes, she's teaching math, but what else? But in, in general, what does she do? She teaches, right? She teaches to, to kids, to adults, right? To juveniles, right? Ella enseña a los adultos, verdad? Niños. Bueno, en este caso ella, because it's a she, but remember that it can be also a he. So very good. Let's see next one. What is his occupation, everybody? Farmer. Oh, yeah, he is a farmer, okay? What do they do? ¿Qué hacen los farmers? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. What do they do? La palabra cultivar, I, no, I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> grow, grow. grow or harvest, right? Grow or harvest. Okay. And what else? What is it? I think most of the, that will be most right. What about this one? What does she do? What is she? I'm sorry? Veterinary. Uh-huh, or vet, okay? That's another, she is a vet, okay? Vet is veterinary, but reduced in a small words, it will be um, vet. Okay, so what do they do? What do vets do? Mm -hmm. Is they take care of animals. Okay, they take care of the animals. Very good, right? And yes, what about this one? What do they do or what are they? Doctors. doctors. Yes, doctors. Okay, they are doctors, right? Or nurses in this case. Uh, <laughs> nurses, yes. Nurse. Okay. <laughs> they, well, yeah, it's a nurse. They are nurses. Okay, but what is the, the uh, what do they do? What is the action that they do? They care of patients. Uh -huh. Take care of patients. Very good. Excellent. Okay, let's go with the next one. Um, what is he, everybody? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh -huh. He? Cook. He is a chef or a cook. Okay, let's see. Yes. It's a cook. Okay, he is a cook. Uh, and um, what do they do? Hmm. Let's see. Mm, they prepare food. Okay. They prepare food. What else? They they just prepare food, right? Or cook delicious plates, right? Or, uh -huh. Teacher, hay yeah. diferencia entre chef y, y cook. Mm, yes. Chef is like somebody that creates new thing. El chef es como crea cosas nuevas, ok, y el cook es solo prepara, o sea, ya le dan la, la, no, la, ni la receta, sino que las cosas y lo hace, ok o sea, solo prepara el cook y el chef es el que crea, el que visualiza, like y se, vamos a hacer, I don't know like something different, ok, that's the difference, ok, eso sería como la diferencia, so yeah what about, what is she do you know what is she She's a driver. 
Un bus uh -huh. driver. Ajá, uh -huh. she is a driver. Awesome. But what do they do? ¿Qué es lo que hace? Hmm. Can you tell me a definition? She transports the children to the school. Ah, or she drives, right? She drives the kids to the school. Very hasta el mascota, the pets over there. <laughs> okay, let's see next one. What is he? Waiter. He is waiter. Aha, very good. He is a waiter. Excellent. So what do they do? Okay. Uh -huh. What does mm -hmm. does the waiter do? He is a service the food. He okay. He serves the food for good. And to the maybe, client. Uh huh. He helps the client. Very good. What about this one? Okay. Now we have it here. Okay. She is a doctor. Mm -hmm. What is she? She is a doctor. What do they do? Check the people. Check people? Uh -huh. People's Check. what? ¿Qué es lo que chequea? Uh -huh. Let's see. So it would be? Aha, uh -huh. Health. Okay. Health. Repeat everybody. Health. 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 Yes. Health. Check people helps helps because remember that everybody has different help so yeah what about this one what is he pilot. he's a pilot. pilot yeah he's a pilot what does he do mm -hmm. he, he drives he airplanes he is he is he, he, he drives, drives airplanes airplane. Airplane. Para, uh -huh. para avión creo que no es drive a teacher. No, it's flies. Flies. Yeah. Okay. Flies a plane. Airplane. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or an airplane. Either of the two. Uh -huh. Plane or plane. Airplane or plane. Okay. okay. Either of, he flies. Yeah. Uh, why? Because he's moving like the little thingy, right? So, yeah. So, yeah, let's go. Very good idea, you guys. I love them. What about this one? Ooh, what is she? She's a she mechanic. She's a mechanic. She's a mechanic. Yes, very good. What do they do? Check the car. She fix. She repairs. Model of the car. Vehicles, vehicles. She repairs, okay? Repairs. She repairs cars, okay? Repair. Oh. She repairs cars. Very good. Excellent. Okay, let's see next one. What do they do? What are they? What is the occupation? Hmm. Military. Okay, military. They... But do you know how to say soldado in English? I don't know, teacher. Mm -hmm. So is they soldiers. Are... Yes, exactly. Yes, soldiers. Yes. Oh, but this what? Police officers? Police officers. <laughs> pero pueden ser soldiers, but I thought it was soldiers, but it's police officers. Yeah. Okay, but mm. police officers, what do they do? <laughs> what do they do? The police officers. La, la order. Uh, provide security. Security, exactly. They provide security. They help people, right? What a, okay, now, as you remember last class, okay, you did like this little business card. ¿Se recuerdan que la clase pasada pues hicieron unas business card que decían sus nombres, su tipo de trabajo, número de celular, en uh, emails, algunos hasta Facebook y toda la y Instagram y things you put. But uh, what are you going to do right now? So you're going to show your business cards. Van a mostrar sus business cards, okay? And you are going to say, 
uh, what is your occupation? Do you have them? Las tienen por ahí, las business cards that you create. No. What? Solo como cuatro recibí, that's why. Hmm. Hey, it's very important that you do the activities, okay? Um, so, okay, so if you don't have your business cards, uh, I'm gonna ask everybody, what is your occupation, okay? For example, I'm gonna start. So uh, my occupation, as you know, is a teacher, and also it can be an um, instructor, okay, for of English. What about you, Miss Anna Marleni? What is your occupation? Anna Marleni, okay. My occupation is, my occupation is call center operator. Big. Oh, nice, Miss. I didn't know that. Wow, that's great. Okay, now, Miss, you can do the question, please, to a classmate. Oh. Miss Ana Marlene, can you do the question to Carlos Miguel? Yes, teacher. Okay, Carlos Miguel. Are you here? <laughs> Yeah. Hello, yes. Okay. What is your occupation, Carlos Mian? Um, my occupation is a uh, engineer uh, informatics informatic system. No, it's engineer. Are you an engineer? But an engineer like um software engineer. Right? No. Is it a different one? Yes. Hmm. So it would be your system, what you said? Um, system computers. Computers. Informatic. It's the same as computers, no? No, informatic system and networking. So it would be, pero es que informática, when you refer to informática, I think about computers. So it's not the same. Uh, informatic is the science. Ah, and computer is it's hardware. Mm, okay, but I think it's that, pero creo que es ese. Pero okay, engineer in... Yes. Es la misma, pero okay. So, engineer, uh, system engineer will be Mr. And, no, and networking, you say, right? Sí. Uh -huh, networking. Network engineer. System and network engineer will be then. Yes. Uh -huh. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Mr. Carlos Miguel, can you do the question to Mr. Nilton, please? Um, repeat the question, please. What? <laughs> Everybody, sí, acabo, acabo, acabo de entrar. What is your occupation? Oh. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. What is what is occupation? Your occupation. Your, your occup occupation. Your occupation. Milton. Thank you. Mister Nito, no se escucha mi. Hello, no. No, mister, I think it's a problem with your microphone. Creo que es problema con tu microphone. Hola, ahora? Yes, yes, now yes. Okay, hello, Carlos. My occupation is logistic operation. Oh, nice. Okay, Nilton, can you do the question to Carlos Argueta, please? Repeat, teacher. Can you do the question to Carlos Argueta? Carlos Arqueta, what is your occupation? Okay, okay. Well, uh -huh. Carlos Argueta, what, what is your occupation? Mm -hmm. Education is education. <laughs> Sorry, teacher education. You're Physical. a teacher? You're a teacher? <laughs> sí. yes. Really? Yes. But for physica? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. So your occupation it will be PE teacher, like this, right? Look here. So it would be a P 
para, para más fácil sería P-E, ¿ok? P-E, uy, P-E, and then you say teacher, ¿ok? Because P -E, P -E teacher. Uh -huh, or physical education teacher, ¿ok? Pero para, I don't know, but for me it's easier to say P-E teacher. Mm -hmm. Nice, mister, you do a lot of exercise. Bueno, yeah. los students, I remember physics very well. I didn't like it. Okay, let's see now, Mr. Carlos. Can you do the question to Mr. Rodrigo, please? Hi, Mr. Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. Hi, Carlos. What is your occupation? My occupation is quality analyst. Oh, nice. Okay. But that's what you are studying, mister? Or how, what is the name of your your bachelor degree, Mr. Rodrigo? Sorry, teacher. What is the name of your bachelor degree or your studies? ¿Cómo se llama tu carrera, lo que estudiaste? Or you didn't study for that? O no sé. Uh, yes, marketing. What? Oh, marketing. Oh, understand. Very good. Thank yes. you, mister. Okay, what about you? Do miss a question, Mr. Rodrigo, to Mr. Jorge Luis, please. Hello, Mr. Okay. Welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, Mr. Jorge Luis. Uh, what is your occupation? Mm -hmm. Hi, Rodrigo. My occupation is marketing consultor. Okay, very good. Now, Jorge Luis, can you do a question to Mr. David Emanuel, please? Hi, David Emanuel. What is your occupation? Hi, my occupation is trainer. I'm sorry, one more time? Trainer. Uh, trainer. Uh, trainer. Oh, nice, Mister. Yes, very good, a trainer. Let's see, David Emanuel, can you do a question to Mr. Serafim, please? Welcome, Mister. Hi, Serafim. Hmm? Hi, Serafim. Hi, what hi. Your, what is your occupation, Serafin? My occupation is a credit specialist. What? One more time? Credit what? specialist. Oh my goodness, mister. You can teach us how to manage your money. No puede enseñar cómo manejar el dinero. That's great. Okay, Serafín, can you do a question to Mr. Wait, wait, wait. Miss Karen? Karen. Karen, are you there? Hola. Okay. Karen, good evening. Good. I am fine. <laughs> what, what, is, what is your occupation? Uh, my occupation is uh, for manager. All oh, right. Nice. Thank you, nice. Mr. Nice, nice. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Let's see, Karen, can you do a question, please, to Miss Jamilet? No sé si me dijo Miss Jamilet que no podía contestar. Give me one second. O si puede, Miss. Si puedo, mañana okay. no. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go, Miss. Miss Karen to Miss Jamilet, please. Um, Ms. Jamilek is, uh, what is your occupation? Mm -hmm. My occupation is agency of manager. Oh, man, oh, so it would be a manager of an agency, okay? Okay. Nice. Jamilek, can you do a question to Mr. Julio, please? Okay, Mr. Julio, what is your occupation? Mm -hmm. My occupation is production manager. Nice. Okay, let's go, Mr. Julio. Can you do a question to Miss Cla? Ah, no, Miss Claudia me dijo que no. Miss Marlin Oneida. Hi. Marlin, what is your occupation? My occupation is uh, accounting. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, thank you everybody for sharing your occupations. I didn't know um, some of your occupations. Very, very interesting. I love it. 
Okay, so now we are going to do the attendance section. Please, please, please stay presente, okay? Be ready. Okay, so let's start with Adriana Gabriela, Ana Marleni. Presente. Thank you. Blanca Luz. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, Carlos Miguel. Present. Thank you. Carlos Roberto. Present. Thank you. Christian Alexander. Christian, can you say presente or write pres presente, please? Mr. Christian Elias. Oh. No te escucho, Mr. Veo que tienes encendido el micrófono, pero no, no te escucho. Okay, and let's go next one. Clelia Estela. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Eh, Diana Noemi. Oh, yeah, lo vi. Thank you, Miss Edwin Roberto. Let's see, Jenny's. Wait, wait. Jenny Carolina. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Presentation. Thank you. Wait a second, please. Give me one second. Okay, there we know, yes. Okay, Jose Dimas. Eh, Julio Cesar. Present. Thank you. Karen Estefanía. Present. Thank you. Nilton Alexander. Present. Thank you. Present. Rodrigo Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Rebecca. Present teacher. Thank you. Serafín. Present. Thank you. Maria Jamilet. Present. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe. Ana Verónica. Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Ezequiel. I don't know if Juan. Oh, thank you. Javier Presente, Mr. Juan, too. Excellent. Thank you, everybody, for doing the activity with me. And, well, the, the attendance section with me, okay? That was good. Okay, now let's move on. And as I told you at the beginning of the class, so today, in today's class, we are going to do a little bit of phrases, okay, that you can use when um, asking for things or saying eh, things in a polite way, ok, el día de ahora como les dije, vamos a aprender este, cómo eh, pedir cosas y también podemos eh, decir cosas de una manera educada utilizando eh, si ¿sí la mencioné mi Claudia perdón, no escuché See sí, me, wait, wait a second, yeah, Claudia. Yes, ah, yes, no, no. yes, 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 I already. Christian, okay. Okay, me, no problem. Bueno, gracias. Bueno. Okay. Uh, so as I was telling you before, como les estaba mencionando, pues el día de ahora el tema será acerca de cómo solicitar, okay, cómo podemos solicitar o oh, también decir algo de manera educada, ok, eh, ya sea en nuestro trabajo o en fuera de él, es como podemos solicitar cosas, ok. And for that we are going to work, we are going to go to page 29, ok, of your book, so we can practice The, of your book, sorry, of your manual, ok. It's a book, <laughs> anyways, it's, a, it's just that is the the half of it, solo que está la mitad ahí. Okay, so in the manual you have this. Okay, first of all, we have a very important question here. Primero tenemos una pregunta ahí muy importante. And it says here, do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Do you help them? Like for example, if they say, oh, help me to get a copy, help me to, 
to finish the report, do you help them? Yes or no? Do you help your core yes. work? Yes, really? Like in what situations? In what situations do you help your, your, your co-workers? If I mm -hmm. have so much client in, in the, ah. the line. Definitely, you help, right? You have a help with them. Nice. And also you, okay? Do you ask for help? Tu pides ayuda a tus, a tus compañeros de trabajo? Yes or no? And in what situations? Bueno, la misma nos acaba de mencionar, pero a ustedes les piden ayuda a sus, sus compañeros, like, like for example, le dice, hey, sacame estas copias, or, or maybe, what else, write the report, or finish your report, or termina el reporte, o tal vez, ayúdame con eso. Do they ask you for help? ¿Les piden ayuda a sus coworkers? O no? No, really? Yes. Yes, it's oh, sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> or always. Sometimes. Ah, okay, sometimes. Pero que les piden? What do they ask, uh, like for help? ¿Qué es la ayuda que les brindan? Tell me, what things do you do? Buy the food or my my my, my boss in in uh -huh. hell the check uh, sweets the electricity. Ah, uh, the open. switch. Ah, nice. Uh, the outlets. Mm -hmm. Is maintained in the, the in the in the work. Oh, nice. That's excellent. Yes. That's good. What about the other ones? What do they yeah. help? In me, for example, with the computers, because I am very good at computers. I think I am very good at computers, so I help my coworkers with computer. But for you, what about the other ones? For example, teacher, mm -hmm. when I was uh, sick, mm -hmm. I need uh, a sheer report. I, I give give report and other um, co-worker. Co co wow, yes. and they help you? Yes. Oh, nice. That's awesome that you have help. Okay, so you give the, the co-worker. Uy, I'm sorry, what is happening? Co-worker. That's good. So you ask for help and you give help, right? So ustedes, pues, obviamente, como les decía, pues ustedes están y también reciben ayuda. And for that, and very good, thank you, Mr. Rodrigo, for sharing. And for that, we have some, some topics and some phrases that we can use in English, okay? So here we have this conversation. We have these two girls that they are talking right. And uh, can you help me to read the first one, please? Um, let's see, a girl, Miss Claudia, can you help me with the first one, please, over there? Perdón? Can you help me to read? Me ayudas a leer esa sección, please, la que señale por ahí. Ok, sería la dos, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Esa que está en el cuadrito. Yes, please. Ok. Um, uh, um, practice this short uh, conversation with... Uh, no, Miss, just this. Could you bring out... Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. uh, could you print out the... Uh, budget, sería. Budget. Budget. Uh -huh. Bill. Uh -huh. um, uh, right. Away. Away. Rita. Rita. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Let's see. Next one. Can you help me to read, please, David Emanuel? Uh, would you mind mm -hmm. opening the window? Yes. Sure, no problem. Excellent. Thank you, mister. 
Okay, as you can see there, we have two words, very important words that we use to ask for something. Como pueden ver, hay dos palabritas por ahí, vea, que utilizan para pedir. ¿Cuáles son? Vamos a ver que están en negrita. Oh, oh, exactly. Oh, it's would and would you mind or could, right? Both of them, los dos, estas dos palabritas se utilizan para solicitar cosas, right? And so in the first one, as you can see, it's to print something. El primero, pues como pueden ver, es como para imprimir algo. Y el would you mind es para también, ¿verdad? Para solicitar, ahí le está pidiendo que abra la ventana. And as you can see, they use other words to answer. Y como pueden ver, pues usan otras palabras, palabras para contestar esas, ese, esas solicitudes o, o esas o, o requests. Yeah, solicitudes, it will be only. So like right away, sure, no problem. Yes, of course. And you will see some more. Y van a ver más adelante más. So. First of all, here, um, wait a second. So before we continue with this exercise number three and four, we are going to study a little bit of the topic. Vamos a estudiar un poco más acerca del would you mind a could. So could and will, as you can see here, it's, it says obviously that is for polite requests para solicitudes muy educadas, okay? so. If you don't know the person, si ustedes no conocen a esta persona, pues utilizamos el would y el could, okay? And um, so el could is similar to can. El could se parece al can, que es de poder, podría, sería. Y el would es similar to will. Eh, nada más que el would, este would es mucho más educado, more, more polite, okay? And here we have some examples, okay? And can you help me to read the first ones, please? The first uh, two examples right there, Mr. Serafin. Could I? Please, sorry. Could I? Can you help me to read the first one? Could I have? Uh, uh, yes, please. Uh, could and would, for its request. Core is similar to can. No, mister, the question, the <laughs> <Sorry>. example. <laughs> Could I have? No, you don't no understand, please. The example, Sorry. mister? The example, el ejemplo que está por acá, ya lo vio. Mm. Let me see here. Okay, one more time. This one, mister. Uh, lo que está en black, okay. so lo, lo demás ya lo había dicho. Uh, sorry, Exam no examples. Mm -hmm. Examples. Core, core I have. A more cookie, please. Uh -huh, uh, can can I can I have a uh, cookies? Very good, thank you, Mister. Okay, so this ones. The first one is very polite. La primera es muy muy educada. Si ya solo, por ejemplo, si lo quieren hacer solicitando, por ejemplo, a un familiar, a un amigo, pueden utilizar esto del can. Miren, can I have? Pero si pues no conocemos a esa persona, could. Okay. And then we have the other one. Can you help me to read, please? Um, let's go. I need a girl. Help me, please. Marlene Oneida. Would you like me pencil, please? Mm -hmm. Would you like my uh, Me? Would you lend me a pencil? Me a pencil. Yes, very good. Okay, so that's another one again. Um, so first we have, would you? Okay, remember it's very formal. And then this one, will you? Y pues el segundo que les aparece ahí, pues sería pues más para como personas que conocemos, para familia, amigos, and like that. As you can have uh, here, uh, again, we have the would. It means want, okay? Ahí con el would like es como algo que, que, que deseamos, que queremos, okay? It's formal, very formal, okay? You can contract it like this, o pueden contractar así el, el would, okay, esta palabra con la, el apóstrofe y la de. Y aquí tenemos some examples, okay. Uh, can you help me to read these first examples, please? Uh, Mr. Julio, about would like the example. I would like to make a deposit, please. I would like to 
I would like. You... I like. I would. I would like to push a ticket. No, please. no, the first one. I would like to make a deposit, right? Uh, yeah. I would like to make a deposit. Oh, please. please, and in the next one, I like. I like to purchase uh -huh. a ticket, please. Yes, very good. Okay, so in this one, look, I like. Ya no sería I would like, sino que podemos contractarlo también. I okay i like to purchase a ticket please okay and so remember that would like we are going to express something that we really really want okay and then we have could again is for request también el could es para una solicitud muy formal pero esto es como podrías podrías like for example podrías prestarme tu libro so it would be could you, bueno, igual ya le puedo dar el orden de las preguntas. Could you eh, lend me your book? Ok, lend me your book. Ok. And so on. You can say other ones. And here we have, that also is for a past ability. También se utiliza para habilidad pasada. Pero ahorita lo vamos a utilizar, recuerden, para solicitudes, like cosas que decíamos, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Cómo vamos? Bueno, creo que vamos a ver qué tengo next and this slide. Uh, no, ok, so we have here the different types of wood, ok, aquí tenemos las diferentes types of wood. So first we have the sentences eh, in affirmative. First we use the subject, then would like, and then we use a thing, okay? Una de las maneras es que primero tenemos el sujeto, el would like, después utilizamos un objeto, lo que decíamos. O tenemos el sujeto, el would like to, pero cuando utilicemos el to, debemos de utilizar un verbo, okay? And the same for the negative, sí, lo mismo para las negativas que utilizamos el wouldn't, okay? El would not or wouldn't. And so, and for questions, first we use would, then you use the subject, then you use like or like to, and then depending, right? And yes, in this one, in el would like, you can use as well the Yes, I would or no, I wouldn't. Para responder esas preguntas del would, podemos utilizar yes, I would or no, I wouldn't. Ok. Wait a second, let me see. Ya vamos a hacer nuestras propias oraciones. Just, we are going Teacher, to... Yeah. I don't know why, but I can see. La pantalla. You can... Really? Yeah. Wait a second, let me share it one more time. What about now, Miss? No sé si me miran bien porque acabo de ver que me veo lenta. I don't know. Mm, ahora sí. Ahora sí. Okay, perfect. So that's the word. Okay. Me move on, Miss. Se frisa la pantalla como que no sé si eso es. Soy yo, pero se right? quedó congelada. ¿Really? ¿Y sale white? ¿O ¿Cómo sale? Mm -hmm. no. eh, pod podía ver la pantalla, pero usted se quedó congelada. ¿Really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, ok, pero si miran la pantalla y me escuchan, that's perfect. Si me, me sí, veo frisada. Uh -huh. eh, esa pantalla que tenía antes, donde está el cuadrito de Google y eh, los pronombres like, uh -huh. ¿Lo, puede mandar, ¿Lo puede mandar al WhatsApp? Sure, mister. Right now. Thank you. No problem. Okay, give me one second. Vamos a mover esto a little bit. Okay. So, this is what like. Okay. So, now we are going to do our own examples. Ahora sí vamos a practicar haciendo nuestros propios ejemplos. Okay. Now, give me one second. Mm -hmm. Wait. 
Okay. I already sent it in WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. So first we have could. Okay. And would. Okay. Both are the same. Los dos son similares. Bueno, son lo mismos. Nada más que este el could es como solicit like. Podrías hacer algo por mí. Ok. En el would es como te gustaría. Ok. And so first we are going to start with could. Ok. El could. Because remember, we are doing requests. Estamos haciendo solicitudes. O sea, estamos pidiendo eh, o solicitando a alguien o ellos nos solicitan a nosotras. Like for example, could you... Could you read? Yo a veces les digo, could you read? Entonces ustedes me pueden contestar, yes, sure, okay. Or I am afraid I can't, okay. I can't. ¿Qué significa? Los, eh, me temo que no puedo. Or no problem, también pueden contestar, okay. Estas son diferentes tipos de respuesta que pueden dar. Uh, no problem. Also, uh, it's mm, wait. I have a picture for those. I remember. Let me see if I still have it for you, so you can. You have them as well. Remember that I had one. Okay, so but those are some very common. Okay, esas son unas de las más comunes. Okay, here. Sorry, it's another one. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I can't. You can say, sorry, I can't. So, for example, let's see. I'm going to do some questions to you using could. Jamilet, could you, could you give me $30? I don't have. You don't have money. No, but you. <laughs> Very good, Miss. Could you? No, but let me let me do another question. Could you drink water? Could you drink more water, Miss? Yes, sure. Yes, sure. <laughs> exactly. Very good. Let's see next one. Let's see, Mister One, Mister. Let's see. Carlos Miguel, could you fix my computer? Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. I really need to fix my computer. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go, Jorge Luis. Could you travel to Guatemala? Yes, yeah, sure. Wow, nice. <laughs> what about you, Marlene? Could you travel to Nicaragua? <laughs> Let's say. Mm -hmm. Ali? Okay, Nilton, could you Let's see, could you drive to Metro Centro? Yes, sure. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mr. Rodrigo. Could you could you borrow me a hundred dollars? Yes, sure. Oh wow, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to do it. I know. I'm just kidding. Just don't worry. But as you, I just wanted to you to understand that could is for asking something, right? Like for like you have to do something for other people. Okay. El could. Yo solo quiero que entiendan que el could es pues para que les están solicitando algo y pues es como como un favor o como sí un favor que tienen que hacer. Okay. Yes. Eso era básicamente sí. lo que quería que entendieran. Pues, very good, Mr. Thank you. Sí, okay. claro. Yes. Eh, bueno, mencionaba que el cool es como podrías, ¿verdad? Yes. Como un favor que yo necesito de esa persona. Ajá. Y el would 
-huh. es como te gustaría. Exacto. Podría tomarse como un ofrecimiento también. Mm, sí, también como un ofrecimiento. Thank you, mister. Esa sería la otra uh -huh. palabra, como ofrecimiento. Por ejemplo, I'm going to offer you. Would you like some tea, mister? Lipton. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to drink some tea? Y puedes contestar de esta misma manera. Yes, sure. O también puedes utilizar lo que les estaba diciendo anteriormente. Lo de, eh, yes, I would. ¿Ok? O, no, I wouldn't. En este caso, podemos utilizar los dos tipos de respuesta. ¿Por qué? Porque como dice usted, es solicitudes o está ofreciendo algo. O están pidiendo un favor. Bueno, en este caso es... Este, eh, what was the word, Mr. Again? Ofreciendo o que ustedes gustarían algo. Ok, for example, would you like, would you like, hmm, studying, uy, studying French? Would you like to study French? Let's see, I'm gonna do a question to Mr. Julio. Would you like to study French? Yes, I would. Oh, nice, Mr. It's your next language. It has to be because it's easier. I would, nice, Mr. Okay. Yes. Let's go, David Emanuel. Would you like? Ah, y hay otra cosa. Would you like to? Si se fijan, en uno puso con el to y el otro puso con el ing. Se puede de las dos maneras. ¿Ok? Would you like to hmm, travel to USA? Yes, I would. Oh, nice. Ese de arranque. Wow. <laughs> Very good. ¿Ok? O oh, yes. pueden decir, yes, sure. O oh, I'm afraid I can't. ¿Ok? Yes. With emotion, yes. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Very good. Let's go with um, Carlos Argueta. Would you like to to speak in English? Yes, of course. <laughs> ah, excellent. Very good. Very good. Let's see, Mr. Serafin. Would you like to eat some pupusas with curtido de mayonesa? <laughs> um, Delicious. Lo he estado dando, me dice, why, oh my goodness, they are for free. <laughs> would you no, like, would no you like? Es salvadoria, tostera. Sorry. It's delicious. You should try it. Yo sé que yeah. en Occidente no lo han probado, pero you should. It's delicious. What about you? But thank you, Mr. Berke. Let's see, Miss Rebecca. Would you like to? Would you like drinking some Coca Cola? Yes, sure. Oh, nice. I love Coca-Cola to me. I love it. I don't know why, but it's dangerous, but I love it. So basically, that's what you do, okay, with the wood and the could, okay? And then, wait a second. I think we have a practice in my... I know that I show you this. Yo sé que les mostré esto, pero en el otro módulo van a estudiar un poco más a, a fondo el, el positivo y el negativo. Ahorita más que todo es para solicitudes, porque ustedes van a hacer solicitudes after, ¿ok? So, here, for example, what would you like to do, ¿ok? And, and in here, you will see some pictures, ¿ok? And it says, what would you like to do next summer? Oh, no, but you need to do the sentences. ¿So sería? She would like. ¿Qué creen que le gustaría a ella? She would like go big. Ah, go to the beach. Go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any other ideas? She would, she would like to go to the beach. Very good, Miss. Okay, what about this one? What would you do at the beach? ¿Qué harías en, en la playa? What would you do? 
I would like swim. She would like swim. Uh-huh. She would like to swim, right? Oh, yeah. With dolphins. Oh, what about dolphins. you, Peter? Uh-huh. What about Peter? She wouldn't go to the beach. She wouldn't go to the beach, okay? He. Or he wouldn't like to go to the beach. What about, what would you like to do next summer? Uh -huh. I would like to go uh -huh. mountain. Uh -huh. I would like oh, to go uh -huh. oh, climb. Uh -huh. I would like to climb the mountains. Very good. <clears throat> what would you do there? Rest in the on the mountain. The ah, mountain. rest in the mountain. It could be. Who like like camping? He would like. I would like finish. I would like to drink coffee. Camping. Diet of cold. <laughs> okay, so I will. Well, in this one, I have. I would like. To, Ajá, sleep, pero también puede ser lo que se está diciendo muy bien. I would like to go camping. I would like to, what was the other one? Go to the mountains, you say? It could be. I guess that's just an idea. What about this one? What would you like to do on your birthday? I would like happy birthday. Sing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, or, or well, I would like to have a party. Maybe. What about what would you like to do at your birthday party? I would like. I would like it to pizza. pizza. Okay. Yes, I would like, ah, that's another one. I'm going to explain this one. Este es otro. El I would, I would just would. Okay, that's another one. And I'm going to explain it right now that I just will see it. You can use I would like or also would. Okay, just use would. Like, for example, would you, would you, for example, would you, Drink coffee, for example, wait, would you drink coffee? Okay, that's another one that you can use. You don't have to use like, porque, vaya, cuando utilicen el like, would you like, es como, te gustaría. Entonces, con solo el would sería como, gust, no, no gustaría, eso sería, wait, I'm gonna yeah. trust, ¿ah? No, no es gustaría. Como el ia. Tomaría. Ajá, solo tomaría. Ese prácticamente no tendría una. Ajá, qui quisieras. Quisieras tomar un café. Ok. Miren que me falta una I ahí. Ok. Would you drink coffee? Gustarías un café. O quisieras un café. Y puedes eh, utilizar. Eh, sería más que todo quisieras, porque el would like sería gustarías. Ok. So you can use it too, también lo pueden utilizar así, ¿ok? Y look, este es un poco más fácil porque pues solo lleva el would, el sujeto y el verbo. En cambio en el otro, o lleva el would, el sujeto y el like, tú, punto, el like tú, más el verbo. O puede ser el would, más el sujeto, like y el verbo con ing. That will be another one. In here, uh, well, we are going to continue with this activity, exercise number three. And I want you to think of five requests, okay? Five requests that you need to ask in your workplace. Quiero que escriban cinco requests, solicitudes, que necesita hacer en su trabajo, okay? Um, like, for example, in my case, one of them is 
Um, I need to ask for help with the platform, right? No sé si ya le solucionaron a, lo, a las que tenían with the platform of the students, okay? Uh, two, I need to, hmm, in my, in my workplace, I need to check, check my students attendance maybe, Attend Ok, necesito que chequeen mi asistencia de los alumnos, ok. For me, right. But for you, I know you have different uh, requests. But estas son para mí, ¿verdad? pero ustedes tienen diferentes requests. And I want you to write five of them, ok. Quiero que escriban cinco de ellas, ok. What do you have for a request in your workplace, ok. So let's do them, please. Write them no. in. Yes, right now, and write them in your notebook, please. And when you finish, I want you to send them on um, WhatsApp so I can see them because after we are going to use them in a conversation, okay? And everybody needs to see them. By request, remember, cinco solicitudes que quieren hacer en su trabajo. Utilizaríamos teacher el can o el, el perdón, el cool o el word. No, no, solo request. la request, ajá, solo la request. Después vamos a hacer el cool y el word. Uh -huh. Ahorita no, solo la request. Bring the coffee, bring the water, maybe. I don't know. Print, imprimir. Or maybe print, uh, finish the report. I don't know. Like that. Thank you, Miss uh, Veronica. Very good. My report, Mr. Rodrigo. I need to listen according to my report. Very good, Mr. Rodrigo. Excellent. Thank 
teamwork, así se escribe, teacher. O es work team. Eh, trabajo en equipo. Uh -huh. it's no es que teamwork. Quise poner como equipo de trabajo. Quise poner. Yeah, it's perfect. Teamwork. Uh -huh. Okay. It's correct. Thank you. I need to to take or make inventory. I need to train. Need to to to. I need to. Solo me faltó el tú. I need to. Yes, it's ya. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And also, Mr. David, I think it's that. I need to print my reports. I need to telephone station to make a phone station. I need a new computer. What? I need to fix the air conditioner. Very good, Mr. Julio. I need to ask for report every day. Excellent, Mr. Thank you. Very good, Miss Caddy, Stefania. Excellent. Okay, now, thank you everybody that has sent the needs that you have in your jobs. Gracias a todos los que han enviado hasta el momento los uh, requests that you have. Okay, now here, one more time we have here. Um, the could and would you mind, ah, uh, or would you like, it's another one. Esta palabrita, miren, would you like or would you mind, it's similar, it's the same, basically, es lo mismo. Uh, would you mind is, eh, te importaría, okay? It's a new verb. I don't know if you have noticed or watched before this verb. No sé si ya lo habían visto. Este verbo del, del mind. Bueno, pero es importaría, ¿ok? Now you know it. And here we have some questions. Can you help me to read the first, uh, the first three questions, please? Let's see who else, who hasn't participated today. Uh, can you help me, please? Ana, Verónica, can you participate, miss? Yes, miss. Ok, let's do it. The first cool. Uh, could you could you call me later? Uh huh. No. Sure. Mm -hmm. Could you make ten copies of this paper right away? Could you contact the tech support? No problem. Very good. Excellent. Let's go with would you mind? Okay. Or would you like? Help me, please, to read it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Rodrigo, can you help me please here? Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you mind mm -hmm. calling the plant manager right away? Would you mind getting an appointment with the human records 
resources? For me, in a minute, mm -hmm. would you mind sending this box of the cleaning department? Mm -hmm. Not a problem. Thank you. Okay, now, as you can see, these are all four polite requests. Recuerden que todas esas frases de could you or would you mind or would you like are for requests that are super, super formal. Recuerden que son estas frases, estas preguntas vamos a utilizar para solicitudes muy, muy educadas. Okay, now it says here that it start with could you follow by... What do we use after the base form or the ing in the questions? What do we use after could you? It's a base form, okay? O sea, el base form es el verbo normal, vea. And in the other one, would you mind? In this case, in the sentences, they are using the base form or the ing form? Mm -hmm. Base ING4. ING4. In this case, it says ING. Okay. Mm -hmm. En este caso, si vamos a utilizar con el would you mind, el verbo con ING. Miren, acá está, miren, would you mind sending, ok? And uh, uh, in the answers, remember, you can say no problem, sure, ok. Another one is, um, what was the other one that I told you about? Let's see if you remember. Aparte de no problem, ¿qué otras utilizamos? De acuerdo con las que les mostré ya ratitos. Hmm, yes, vamos. sure. Yes, sure. What else? Sorry, I can't. Right away. Right away. Sorry, I can't. Uh -huh. I'm afraid I can't. I'm afraid. Uh, I, like. I would like. Uh -huh. Or I, I would. It's another one. Pero no podemos decir, bueno, y ahorita se la voy a mostrar, no podemos decir, I would, mine, no, never, ok, no podemos decir esto, mire, eh, I would not mind, or I would you mind, no, never, ok, you have to use other words, like not a problem, sure, right away, eh, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't, ok, those yes, but this ones no, no podemos utilizar el would you mind para responder. But I would like, yes. Okay. And questions so far? Preguntas al momento? Questions, questions. Right now is the time. We're going to practice in a few minutes. Uh, so now we already did the, the request, right? The, not the, the request that you have in your workplace. What about now? What are, what are we going to do now? Right now, we are going to do a conversation, okay? Using could you or would you mind, okay? Wait a second, let me show you how. Vamos a hacer un pequeño ejemplo. Wait a second. Okay. So, for example, I saw that some of you, vi que alguien dijo que finish the report. Oh, my goodness, I have more with the system to classify the inventory. I need to be sure that my clients do not need anything. Okay, very good. Thank you. And uh, invoice, purchase invoice. ¿Qué es eso? It's my first time that I listened to that. I need to review the customer request. I need then call customer service, I guess. Okay, now, what are you going to do? You're going to ask for the help with your, your classmates, okay? Van a pedir ayuda con sus compañeros, ¿cómo? Como ustedes ya escribieron, ¿verdad? Las mandaron ahí en el chat, entonces van a hacer así. Por ejemplo, acabo de ver la de... Wait. Uh, Mr. Serafín dice que necesita un cup, two cup of, cup of coffee. Entonces va a decirle, digamos, me va a solicitar a mí. Could you, could you bring me a cup of coffee? Two cup of coffee, you say. Can you bring me two cup of, too much coffee, Mr. Too much coffee. <laughs> could you bring me two cup of coffee? 
And then, como ustedes ya hicieron las solicitudes, esas mismas solicitudes solo le van a agregar could you, o también cómo puede ser la otra. Would you, would you mind, would you mind bringing me, bringing me a cup of coffee? Ok, este pues es un ejemplo de Mr. Serafín, por eso lo estaba utilizando. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Digamos que estas eran mías. Mr. Julio, would you mind bringing me a cup of coffee? Would you mind? Mm, yes, sure. Oh, thank you. Very good. Could you? Hmm, let's see. Vamos a ver otras solicitudes. Could you help me with the... Could you help me to print the report? Could you, uh -huh. Could you help me to print the report? I am afraid I can't. Oh, that's okay. Si se fijaron, todas las solicitudes llevaban un verbo. Así, I need to... Um, quiero ver una. I need to ask for the report. Dice uno por acá. Es la de Mr. Julio. O maybe dice otra por ahí. I need to take the inventory. To take the inventory. Dice. To make, I think. To make. To make the inventory. Entonces, miren, lo que van a hacer es que este mismo verbo que ustedes han escrito, por ejemplo, acá es ask, aquí es make, el mismo van a utilizar en su pregunta. Por ejemplo, would you mind, would you mind to ask for the report? Would you mind asking, sorry, 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 I, I missed it here. Would you mind asking for the report, Miss Rebecca? Would you mind asking for the report? Miss Rebecca, you're not there. Okay, so Carlos Miguel, would you mind asking for the report? Yes, sure. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Go to the boss then. <laughs> would you mind? Vamos a ver, vamos a hacer otra. Would you mind making the inventory? Miss Anna Marleni? Would you mind making the inventory? Yes, teacher, no problem. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Y miren, el mismo verbo que estaba por acá, pues, utilicé para hacer la pregunta. Nada más que lo cambié. ¿ver? Pero si fuera con el could, pues, recuerden que, pues, no cambia. Could you make the inventory, Carlos Miguel? Ah, no, Carlos, el otro Carlos. Ah, no, Mr. Carlos. Ah, sí, está. Carlos Argueta. Could you make the inventory? Yes. Yes, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> no problem, or yes, no problem. sure. <laughs> Recuerden que aquí están las respuestas. Miren, yes, sure, I'm afraid I can't, no problem, sorry. Las otras eran, ¿cuáles eran las otras que acabamos de ver? Right away. Right away. And what was the other one? In a minute, okay. Do we have any questions right now? No sé si hay alguna duda o pregunta al momento. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Eh, solo para recordar, eh, si vamos a utilizar el would you mind, uh -huh. en lugar de would you like, like. Uh -huh. el verbo sería en ING, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Okay. Si es would you like, ahí sería el verbo base. Exactly. El verbo okay. va, would you like to, right? Okay, thank you. What about the other one? Could 
could. How do you do it with could? ¿Cómo lo hacemos con el could? One more time. Y se usa la forma básica del verbo. Uh -huh. And with mine. Le agrega ing al verbo. Exactly. I need to clean, I need to check, I need to print, I need to drink coffee, I need to drink water for breakfast. Mr. Carlos, remember to use to, okay? And a verb with need to, okay? Any other questions? No sé si hay alguna duda. Recuerden, miren, la pregunta, bueno, voy a hacer otras acá. Would you... Ahorita vamos a irnos más con el would you mind to clean, I mean cleaning, Ay, tengo el, el to, would you mind cleaning the office? Porque así decía un request por ahí. Y miren lo que hago es que el, en vez del need to, pues vamos a utilizar el would you mind, después utilizan el verbo, bueno en este caso es cleaning, and then we have something else that you also write. O puede ser con el could, vea que sería could you clean the office? Uy. Ok. Then, yeah. We have could you, and then we have the verb, and the same, ok. Questions? ¿Alguna duda o pregunta? Ahorita es el momento. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, en los primeros ejemplos que usted puso. Uh -huh. Era con, con el would you cool. like. Ajá, con cool o would. Uh -huh. Terminaba la pregunta con please. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Ajá, eh, eh, no es necesario. Uh, no, it's something um, up to you. Es algo que tú eliges si lo utilizas. Pero ya con que estés utilizando el would you mind, ya estás siendo muy, muy educado. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ajá, porque ahí, por ejemplo, esta, no sé si ustedes han escuchado, vea, lo de ir al baño. Could I go to the bathroom, please? ¿Ya? Entonces, al final, agregamos el please, si ustedes gustan. ¿Ok? Pero solo con el could, ya está siendo muy educado. ¿Ok? Okay, so right now, using the phrases that you also sent, utilizando las frases que ustedes enviaron en el grupo de WhatsApp, you are going to do requests to your classmates. Ustedes van a hacer esas requests a sus compañeros, okay? Sí? And you have to write the answer. You tienen que escribir las respuestas, okay, about your classmates. What do they say? Questions right now? Same, same request. Las mismas requests que ya tenían eh, van a utilizar, ¿ok? Las que ustedes acaban de enviar con el need to, pero nomás que las van a hacer con pregunta el could you o el would you. Mine. Wait a second. I'm going to do groups of three, ¿ok? Trials, ¿ok? So you can work with different classmates. Remember, something that I want to remember you, please. When you finish, try to do more questions. Cuando terminen, traten de hacer más preguntas. No se queden solo con lo que ya escribieron, ya estuvo, no. You have to do more. Please, please, try to do it, okay? So I'm gonna give you five minutes so you can create these questions, okay? So let's work, okay? Here we go. Accept the invitation, please. Claudia, Serafín, Cristian, Adriana, Diana, Ana Marlene, please accept the invitation.
me falló la conexión porque sí. Sí, le escucho. Ah. Sí, le, sí, le, sí, le escucho. Hoy sí, hoy sí ya lo vi que se movió. Sí, sí. ¿Y lo que vamos a hacer sí, ahorita? Sí. Este, las oraciones. Las que ya hemos escrito. Las vamos a convertir a preguntas. Sí. Algo Con así el... digo yo que es. <risa> yes, exactly, Miss. Very good. Exactly, Miss. Está perfecta. Would you mind helping, helping with the system? Pero ahí le falta ING. Solo ING. Pero very good. Aquí. Ajá. Yes, please. Ah, very good, Miss. Con razón. Continue like that. Very good. Thank you. Le va a preguntar a Mr. Serafín y Mr. Serafín le tiene que decir si sí, sí, yes, no problem, o I'm not sorry, I can't. Yeah. Y va a escribir la respuesta, ajá, sí. Y después Mr. Serafín va a hacer las preguntas igual y le, se le, le va a preguntar. Yes, Mr. Okay. Ahora sí. Ok, perfect, thank you. No, yes. Yeah. Sería yes. yes. Sí, por supuesto. Of course. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, of course, también, uh, ¿verdad? Yes, excellent. Yes, of course, es cierto. Es que okay. la, la, la consulta que si me, me gustaría o querría visitar la nueva sucursal, entonces él decía, Good you yes. visiting new branch. Entonces yo le respondía, yes, era la que está. Perfect, very good. Continue. Ahora yo una consulta. Good you like, Miguel. Good you like. Repeat, please. Hola. Would you like? A precision tool. A minute. Sorry, no, 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 no entiendo. Herramienta de precisión. Uh -huh. Mr. Julio, sí. can you write sí. the name of your tool? ¿Podrías escribir el nombre de tu, de tu tool en el chat, please? Porque es la primera vez que le escucho yo también la tool. Push. Precision eh, tool. Something de, like. De Carlos Miguel. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mr. Carlos Miguel, can you write it, please? Would you like a, a toy precision? Ah, uh ajá. -huh. Tool, tool, tool. Esto es T-O-L-S. Tools. Ajá, tools. Uh -huh. De herramienta, ¿verdad? Herramienta. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bueno, como dijo que la pusiéramos orientado a lo que estábamos. Yes, that's a, a perfect. Lo que nos dedica. Yes. <laughs> Yo por eso hice caso. No, that's okay, that's okay. You, you can practice what you do at your work. El, excelente porque está practicando lo que puedes hacer en tu trabajo. That's okay. Solo para, para saber, Mister, porque es my first time for me. Ya aprendí algo nuevo ahorita, mire, ve. Yo no sabía eso. Yes, I love it. Ah, quieren, quieren una. <laughs> oh, este... yeah. If you have a picture, that's great. Okay. Yeah, vale. you can share with us. Sería... I love learning new things. I love it. Always I learn something new. Este es una. Show it to us. That's for the computers. Well, not for the computers. Oh, yes, for the computers, right? No necesariamente es para, para las cuestiones de, de redes, de, para hacer las conexiones a internet. Oh, for the internet connections. Wow, awesome. Uh, I didn't know este, about that. Eh, la otra sería... Uh, bueno, But, este, vamos a ponerlas las, así, más específicas. Ok. Aquí hay, Aquí hay un kit que es solo para eso. 
okay. son herramientas de, de precisión. Ok. <risa> Todo eso es de lo que... Pero we cannot see it, mister, no lo podemos ver. <risa> no se puede ver. No. Hay que compartir la pantalla. Ajá, no, pero ah. ya lo tengo. Ajá, ah, ahora ah, sí. Ah. Vale, ahí está. Eso oh. son ejemplos. De, de ah, herramientas. Eso es un chip. Oh. Ajá, para, para precisión y cositas así. Mm -hmm. Every my life I've seen. Son para hacer los cables. Just the cuter, the cuter only. <risa> El That's test, okay, one. Estas son, son bien básicas, pero igual. What? Tengo otras así un poco más avanzadas. <risa> que Super basic. Basic. <risa> sí, como, no, para, 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 como para aprender es también. <risa> Para JR45. Sí, para, para hacer los cables de red. Ajá. Oh, that's cool. Los, de, los, los cables de red, toda la conexión de red. Lo, para hacer lo básico, el... porque ahí falta la esto, de la esto es fibra problema, de vidrio. Así, con los oh. que conectan la computadora a la... A la... Ajá, that one, yes, I know that Ajá. one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Conector JR45. Sí. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Thank you for sharing, Mister. Okay. okay, now we know that is networking tool. Okay, excellent. Nice. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carlos. Okay. Okay. Ahorita voy, ahorita voy. A You're drinking. Ahí faltaría. En ese tiempo el puso eso. Uh -huh. Ajá, el main faltaría. Sí. Y sería you, no your. You. Ajá, solo you, sin la R. You. Would you drinking? Would you drinking water? Would you mean drinking water? Would you mind? Drinking water? Um, would you mind? Mine is. Yeah. Would you mind? Okay. Would you mind drinking water? But she say client portfolio. So it would be, would you mind checking the client portfolio, miss? It could be. Reviewing. Reviewing. Oh, okay. Would you mind reviewing the client portfolio? Mm -hmm. That one, yeah. Okay. Remember that you have to answer, I mean, write the answers, Miss. If you are doing the questions, si la Miss está haciendo las preguntas, pues ya tiene que escribir las, las answers que ustedes le den. Like yes or no, no problem. In a minute. La teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, no sé por qué. Right now? <laughs> no, pero yo sí la veo bien. Yes. El, usted, no, mister, usted es que ya rato vi que se le apagó la cámara. Creo que tiene problemas con, con el internet, pero no, mi no. Si quiere apague la cámara, mister, ahorita y de, solo esté con el audio para que no se le vaya a congelar ahí. Ok. Ok, continue, please. Thank you. Ahorita estábamos viendo, teacher, la, la estructura de las preguntas. Ok. Ah, no, pero that's teníamos... perfect. Uh, would, you mind? would you mind drinking water? Aha, uh -huh, that's perfect. Very good. Uh, would Continue. you mind printing my uh -huh. But, uh, sorry, one more time, the last one. Would you mind mm -hmm. printing the report? Ah, very good. It's exactly like that. Perfect, perfect. Aha, uh -huh. another y, one. Y la oración que decía Yamilet era, would you mind? Review the client portfolio. Mm -hmm. Reviewing. Reviewing the client portfolio. Mm -hmm. Reviewing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Reviewing. Solo con el would you, would you mind van a hacer o van a hacer también con el could. Remember that you can use it with cool as well. Vamos a hacer con cool también. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Bueno, como no las dice respecto a su trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Would you mind writing and sending the email? Uh -huh. Yes, sure. Okay. 
Could you clean the office? Uh, yes, no problem. Okay. Could you take lo verbo? Ahí viene la ley. Teacher. Miss. No entendemos Help. aquí. <laughs> Help me, please. Tell me. <laughs> so it would be, would you mind doing, doing the tax document? Aquí. Así, hacer, hacer. O make it también puede utilizar. Es que como mis, como eso es de todo de hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces puede ser o doing or making, cualquiera de los dos. Porque recuerda que todo es de hacerlo y hacer, por ejemplo, hacer el, el documento de taxas, hacer el libro de taxas. Bueno, de, de, sería de, ay, ¿cómo se llama en español? Taxes, it would be... Libros contables. Impuestos. Eso, de impuestos. Ajá, de, ajá, de contar. Sí, de impuestos. So, making tax books, sí. Would you mind doing the AP forms? Doing, igual, no es dos, es doing. Miss, la respuesta, por ejemplo, ahí donde dice la primera, un ejemplo. Mm -hmm. What you mean helping with the right. system? Yeah. La, de, la respuesta es, este, yes, I do. No, pues, no, serían las respuestas ahí, que les estaba dando. Esa ayuda. Sí, las respuestas que les estaba dando. Que era como, yeah, sure, no problem. Oh. Si es negativo, si es negativo, o por ejemplo, I am afraid I can't, or maybe I can't, sorry, okay, or maybe right away, en un momento, in a minute, okay, esas son respuestas que pueden dar. No tiene que ser uh -huh. yes, I would, no, es like, or yes, I do, no. Es como, yes, no problem, right away, sure. Yes, I sure. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yes, yes, sure. Solo yes, sure. Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. Yes. Okay, miss. Okay, so that's one. I don't know if you have uh, another question. Or we are good. Okay. Vamos a intentarlo. Intenten doing the question. What you, uh, what you mean helping with the system? Hello, Marlene. Miss Marlene, are you there? Marlene. Hello. Uh -huh. Good question. Would you mind? U usted va a hacer la pregunta al Mr. Serafín, Miss. Ah, perdón. Yes, please. Would you mind help me? Así, help me or oh, help. Helping. Helping, Miss. Helping, Así está bien. Helping. helping. With the system? system. Uh -huh. Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Would you mind make the inventory? Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, sure. Yes, sure. Y lo otro, ¿cuál Would era you... la otra respuesta? <laughs> Creo, que es, la... Creo que eh, se la... Por ejemplo, eh... Eh, si puedo decir one eh, moment, please. Eh, in a moment. In a moment. Ajá, in a moment. Or in a minute. In a minute, en un minuto. Minute. Ajá, en, en un, un minuto. En un Ajá. minuto, please. Sí. Okay. <ríe> Ahorita les voy a mandar la respuesta que pueden utilizar ahí. Aunque ya les mandé unas en el grupo, pero voy a mandar otras por acá. Yeah, sure, of course, ma'am. Pues voy. Okay, let's go back. It's a pleasure to help you. Ah, no. uh -huh. very good. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yes, pleasure, sí. Okay. Oh, yes, por decir, eh, es un placer ayudarle. It's a pleasure to help you. It's a pleasure to help you. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to help to you. Helping you. Helping you. Ok. La, en esta iba mi papá. Sí. La 
Necesito... 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 Okay, let's continue. Hello, welcome, welcome to the main class. Let's wait a few seconds, please, for the other ones. Okay, so let's wait. Jorge Luis, would you mind giving me some churros? <laughs> I want some churros now. Yes, churros. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, so everybody, I guess you finished doing the questions, okay? And what are you going to do? So we are going to share one question, the answer that you got, okay? Como todos solicitaron algo a sus compañeritos, vean, a your co-workers, classmates, van a decirme una de las preguntas y las respuestas que obtuvieron. Vamos a ver si les dijeron, yes, perfect, no problem, or no, I'm afraid I can. Okay, so let's start with Juan Ezequiel, mister. Do you do the question, mister? Hizo la pregunta, mister? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, mister, one question. Okay, I call gray material. Yes, sure. I'm sorry. I call like... uh -huh. Okay, I call no, gray would... material. Good, sorry. Could material. You... Uh -huh. Could you bring some material, maybe? Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Okay, very good. Pero la pregunta era: Could you bring some material? There. Ah, okay. Aha, uh -huh. perfect. I, teacher, con, I would like to know if uh, the staff are here. The Just what? Work. The what? Sorry, one more time. The, uh, I would like to know if uh, the staff are here. The staff are here. Uh -huh. The staffs are here. Okay, and what do they say? Es que como era con would you mind, pero lo hice con would you like, pero yeah, it's okay. Tell me. Porque okay. Uh -huh. yes, well, yes, okay. Well. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Juan Ezequiel. Excellent job. Let's go, Rodrigo Jose. Tell me one using would you mind, Mr. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, for example, would you mind listening the calls? Uh -huh. Sorry, I can't. <gasps> Who was the mean person that said that, Mister? Quién fue esa persona mala que no quiso? Ah, bad person. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> Let's see. Thank you. Very good, Mister. Let's okay. go, Ana Marleni. Tell me one question and the answer, please, Miss. Would you mind writing and sending email? Ah, okay. okay. What? And what do they say? ¿Qué dijeron? Yes, sure. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Let's go, Rebecca. What was the question? Will you mind bring my printing my report? Uh huh. Yes, sure. Oh, excellent. Jorge Luis, tell me the question using could, please. 
could you? Who? Mm -hmm. Could you check the client's account? Uh huh. The answer? Yes, sure. Excellent. Thank you. Carlos Miguel, tell me one question using could too, please. Could. Um, could. Ay, no me acuerdo. Solo la de Wood. Hoy tengo una aquí, ya la tenía la mano. Could you? Uh -huh. Ok, pues la vamos a la par. Okay. Eh, de las que hice, could you like a precision tools? Y ah, me respondieron. Ok. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know them. <laughs> ok, no problem. Thank you. Carlos Vargueta, tell me. <laughs> What was the question? For would you mind, please, Mr. Carlos Vargueta? Carlos Argueta, what happened? You disappeared. Hi. Hi, tell me the question. Would you like to prepare one coffee? Preparing. Oh, could, could. Yes. Como, Pre one more time. Prepare, the question. Preparing. Pero, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Una vez más, repítela, please, mister. Ah, si me podría preparar un café. No, pero en inglés, en inglés. <risa> would know, you like to prepare one coffee? Man. Ah, would you mind or could you? Could or you. would. Ah, could you. Ok, yeah, mm -hmm. it's very good. ¿Y qué le dijeron? Yes or no? Sorry, I came. <gasps> no, oh, I'm not. <laughs> that's ok, that's ok. What about you, Serafín? Tell me one question, please. And the answer? Serafín, what happened? Se salió, mister. Ah, oh, nice dialogue. Tell me, mister. Ahorita. Uh-huh. Would you mind helping with the, with the, size, the systems? Okay. And two, uh, one, two. Would you mind making the inventory? But the questions? What were the answers? Sorry, the answers. What was the answer? ¿Qué era la respuesta? Ah, uh, yes, 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 sure. Ah, perfect, thank you. Nilton, tell me one question and the answer. Nilton. Hello. Hello. Uh, Would you mean visiting the branch? Uh, uh -huh. La respuesta is yes, of course. Excellent, thank you. And let's see, Julio, tell me. One question and the answer, please. Con wool or con? Uh, could, 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 because uh, not everybody has done with could. Mm -hmm. Could you send mail to my boss? Uh-huh. Yes. Sure. Okay, very good. Could you send an email to my boss, right? Let's go. Get away. Who else? Who else? Who else? And who else is missing? David Emanuel? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, yes. The question is uh, Would you mind printing the reports? Okay. And the answer was? The answer is uh, yes, sure. Oh, nice. Very good. Let's go. Ana Veronica. Question and the answer. Okay. Is it cool or, or good? Would you mind? Please, would you good. mind? Okay. Would you... Would you mind coordinating visit good clients? Ah, okay. Uh, yes, I could. Okay, perfect, Miss. Thank you. Okay, now before we continue, I'm gonna do a tenant section. Please say presente, okay? So, Adriana Gabriela. Ahí ve la Miss, pero I don't know. Can you say presente, Miss? Adriana? Okay, so Ana Marleni. Presente. Thank you. Blanca Luz. Carlos Miguel. Present. Thank you. Carlos Roberto. Present. Christian Alexander. Mm, 
Mr. Christian, can you say present, please? Claudia Maria? Present. Thank you, Clelia Estela? Present. Thank you, David Emanuel? Present, teacher. Thank you, Diana Noemi? Thank you. Eh, ya vi el mensaje, Miss Diana. Edwin Roberto? Yeah, Mr. Edwin, but I don't know. Se salió. Okay, uh, Jenny, Carolina, Jorge Luis. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Dimas. Julio Cesar. Present. Thank you, Karen Estefanía. Present teacher. Thank you, Nilton Alexander. Present. Thank you, eh, Rodrigo, Rodrigo José. Present teacher. Ruth Rebecca. Present teacher. Thank you, Serafín. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Jamilet. Present. Thank you, Carmen Guadalupe. Ana Verónica. Present, Miss. Thank you, Marlene Oneida. Present, Miss. Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Very good. Thank you, everybody, for doing the attendance section with me. Okay, I'm so I'm missing. Me falta que me digan la pregunta y la respuesta, Miss Marlene, and also Claudia and Maria Jamilet. Okay, tell me, Marlene, what was the one question and the answer? Would you, mm -hmm. would you mind? Could you mind? Mm -hmm. Making the inventory. Okay. Yes, I sh sure. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Very good. Maria Jamilet, tell me one question. Could you go a cry for the pain? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, sure. Excellent. Thank you. And yeah, that will be for everybody. I don't know if you have questions. Remember that in this one you have to do like requesting, right? Recuerden que todo esto con el could you y con el would you mind, pues era para solicitar algo, eh, hacer su trabajo. También lo pueden hacer fuera de su trabajo, right? Uh, so, yeah. Something that I want to remind you, algo que quería recordarles era lo de... Um, doing the platform, okay? Before we finish, okay? Uh, remember that it's very important so you can practice. No sé si a uh, María, ya se los conecto a mi María, María y a mi ledera, o oh, quién era la que tenía, o oh, Carmen. Yo, teacher. Okay, Ana Marlene, ¿te llamaron? ¿Te escribieron, quiero decir? ¿O te llamaron? Me escribieron un WhatsApp, pero solo preguntándome si yo le había dicho a usted el problema y ahí no me respondieron nada. Pero ahora como a las seis y media intenté entrar y lo logré hacer por lo menos la primera okay. tarea de la semana pasada. Y voy good. a ver si más tarde puedo hacer lo demás. Ok, great. Porque me ha costado entrar en la plataforma, no sé por qué. Yeah, it's a strange, it's, it's a strange. Si sí, yo reporté, le reporté que pues tenía problemas y, y sí, se me olvidó comentar, preguntarle otra vez el, el porque el sábado lo, lo reporté, entonces tendría, pues, pues, pues estaba esperando que ahora vea se pudiera, pero si ya está Miss, excelente, pero sé que Miss Carmen me parece que es la, la otra chica que tiene problemas, pero sí, el resto espero que todos estén trabajando. Ahora voy a volver a chequear la sección número dos junto con el midterm. No todos lo habían hecho el viernes por la noche, pero ahorita sí vamos a chequear. Espero todos lo hayan finalizado. Because remember, now we are going with the third section. Ahora vamos con la sección número tres, ¿ok? And we are going to do it, okay? So the section number three, basically we have here, as you can see, communication at the workplace. So there are five, five sections. So I'm gonna go in. And so here we have, oh, you already have one video, okay? And so we have a homework number 11. So number one, can you help me to read this one, please? Mr. Rodrigo, I can see that you have activated your, your microphone. Help me, Mr. Please. Okay. Okay. Por si acaso lo desactivado. 
<laughs> okay, tell me. Okay. You Could tell you tell me where where the nearest bank is, please? Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I'm not from around here. Okay. Let's see number two. Can you help me, please? Volunteers to help me with number two. What you need, pass it and me tab menu, please. Uh-huh. No, I up. Here you go. Not at all. Here you go. Excellent. Thank you, mister. Number three, volunteer to help me with number three, please. Another volunteer, please. Okay, thank me, you, Mr. Teacher. Thank you, Rebecca. Yes, tell me. Could you lend me twenty dollars, please? Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? I suppose so. But I need it back before Friday. Okay, let's try it with that one. Number four, can you help me? Another volunteer, please, volunteers. Very, very. Would you mind uh, mm -hmm. sharing your lunch with me? Uh huh. Oh, I'd love to. Oh, okay, let's try it. And number five, volunteer. Call you contact the IT department. Uh -huh. Sure, right away. Okay. Every every single question is with that answer. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> let's yeah. see. Let's go clicking in. Yeah, let's see how many. Oh, very good. Excellent. <laughs> you did an excellent job right now. So yeah, so these are the answers for the first section. Well for, well, for the number one homework for section number three, right? So yeah, okay, there you have them. And always, always, if you want to continue with the other homeworks, you can do it, okay? Si quieren continuar o avanzar. Para la otra semana, okay, no vamos a poder, para la, sí, porque la otra semana ya es la última, no vamos a poder hacer, por ejemplo, la del viernes. Para el viernes ya tiene que estar terminado la plataforma para el próximo viernes 16, si no me equivoco, ya tiene que estar finalizada. ¿Por qué? Porque este, recuerden que para ese día, pues yo ya tengo que haber ingresado todas las notas, porque ya para el sábado, pues ya estamos off, y ustedes ya están off. Entonces, eh, por favor, traten de, si ustedes pueden, ir avanzando. ¿Ok? Y si tienen alguna duda, eh, me la hacen saber. Uh, this week, I think we have something new. I don't remember what are the topics, but I, they are going to be interesting. Every topic is so interesting, so don't worry. Todos los temas que pues vamos a estudiar eh, son muy interesantes, así es que siempre voy a poner un poco ahí de... Esta se, bueno, esta semana es más que todo así de, de asking things. Es de más que todo solicitudes, ¿ok? So, do we have any questions, doubts, comments? ¿Tienen alguna duda, pregunta? Let me know. Consulta con respecto a la... Um, no se va a empezar desde ahorita el, la inscripción para el siguiente módulo. Este, me imagino que si sí, durante esta semana se les va a avisar, porque vamos por la tercera semana, casi siempre para la tercera semana se les avisa en el otro grupo, ¿verdad? Que les avisan, creo, que tienen otro grupo, si no me equivoco. No sí, sé en si... el correo, en el correo lo enviaron. Ah, ok. Lo enviaron el correo. Ah, ok, Carlos Miguel ya lo enviaron, dice, yo no, sinceramente. Carlos Argueta. No, no. Carlos, Carlos yo, Argueta. no, pues sí, Carlos, Carlos Argueta dice, Carlos Miguel. <ríe> Ya Carlos Miguel consultaba y Carlos Argueta responde. Ah, ok, ah, exactly. Este, no sé si ustedes ya contestaron si van a continuar. El próximo nivel sería hasta el siguiente año. Este es el que estamos haciendo desde este año. Van a tener dos, creo que alrededor de dos o tres semanas, si no me equivoco, de break. Bueno, ya no, porque casi estamos ya vea, finalizando. Dos semanas van a ser del año. Entonces sí, ya que quedarían de breaks, pero ya el siguiente año, ¿verdad? y siempre pues la plataforma, pues háganla porque sí les va a servir de mucho. 
Y ya. Yeah. Mister, no sé si ha chequeado, si recibió el correo. Si no, pues mañana puedo, ah, si quieres. No, mañana, ma mañana revisaré. Es que se me descargó el teléfono. Ah, oh, okay. Aquí en la computadora no tengo la clave. Como la tengo, ah. solo, de, solo de dar a aceptar. Ah, ok. No me okay. la sé. <risa> no, ok. That's ok. So, sí, para que se puedan escribir es todo. Espero todos continúen el siguiente módulo. Ok, pero sí. Primero, let's finish this one. Pero primero hay que terminar ese. Ok, everybody. Please do it very good with the platform and everything, okay? If you don't have, I don't know if you have any other questions. No sé si hay alguna otra duda o pregunta. No, teacher. Okay, so if you don't have any more questions, you can go. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night, Bye. Good night, miss. Good night, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, mister. Take care. Teacher, eh, solo los videos me aparecían, por ese modo, este segundo no me salía el cheque. Videos como que no se los había visto, me salía. Ahorita estoy revisando y los estoy viendo otra vez. <risa> ok, mister. Entonces sí, cheque, no hay problema. Thank you. Okay. <risa> Thank you, mister. Bye, bye. Take care.